Happy August! Well, summer is winding down and we got one final luau to go before we send the kids off to school. So for this luau, we're going to make a little tabletop oasis with some palm trees. I'm Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and DIY Balloon Art. And uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. So what we need for this is we're actually going to be using those linky balloons. We've been talking a lot about those linky balloons. Um, so if you're coming in and you don't know what I'm talking about, just real quick, a balloon that has a little tail on the end. You know, here's the nozzle where you would normally blow it up. There's a little tail. And they do that so you can make strings of them and tie them together. They're very, very cool. And for this particular little oasis, what we want is uh, we're using um, seven linky balloons. And then we're going to put our quads of five inch balloon. And these are pretty much inflated to about four inches. We're going to put these between them. And as our base, we have a quad of um, just regular balloons. OK? And so we're going to start by building the trees, and then we'll put the heads on them. So first of all, I have this one tied into a chain of five. And you see, I've already put my, my little bracing quads on it. And so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this part here so, I have so that I wind up with a group of two and a group of three standing up. OK, and now this one here, I'm going to tie this to the weight. So this is my water weight. We've talked about how to make these. I have a video on how to make water weights, so you can go check that out if you don't know how. And we're just going to tie that to our duplet right here. This is double stuff. Um, I always double stuff it just in case the kids want to play with it or it gets a little hole. This is practically indestructible. It's an 11-inch balloon that's just bowled out just a little bit. So we're just going to take this, and we're just going to twist it See, I'm bringing it up and bringing it back down in. We're just going to twist it into the bottom like that. OK, so now here's what we have. And then you see how this is kind of flopping over like this? Well, so that's why we put the quad on it like this. All right, so for now, we're just going to kind of set this to the side. And you see, we can even kind of shape it a little bit if we want it to. You know, we could kind of like give it a little bend by just kind of arranging how the, the bracing balloons are holding it. All right, so we're just going to kind of put that to the side for the moment. And now we're going to take our 160s. So we've talked in another video about the various sizes of balloons that we have 160s, 260s, et cetera. So for this one, I might actually use 160s and 260s. So you can see the relative difference in the size. So we're going to take the 160, which is fully inflated with a good burp like that, you know. Blow it up, and then just before you tie it, let a little bit of air out. But you see we're still keeping it inflated all the way to the end. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half and put a twist in it. And then we're going to fold it in half again and put a twist in it, just like that. And if you want it to lock it, if you just leave it like this, it might untwist. So if you want to lock it, you just put one end through, just like that. And now we're going to do this again. And the thing is with palm trees, you know, anything in nature, they're not symmetrical. So don't worry about, oh, everything has to be exactly the same. It doesn't. And it's OK if it's not. So we're just going to start combining this until we get a nice full head uh, for the top of our palm tree. And you know, some of them could be thicker. Some of them could be thinner. Um, you just want to play with it. Have fun. So you see, we're just going to keep building it like this. I don't know, you know, I don't know if I will use the 260s on it or not. So this is all the fun of the, of the creation here, is that as you're building it, you know, you can kind of look and say, oh, I want like this, I want like that. Um, I know you guys are crafty. You know this stuff. All right. I think uh, maybe one more here on that one. And now we've got our little tail up here. So we're just going to take that tail and wrap it around the center. OK, now we can look at it and say, hmm, yeah, I kind of think maybe I do want it a little bit fuller. So you know, maybe I will put the 260 in, kind of with the same thing. And maybe that, you know, to give it a little bit more bulk in there. And you see, I'm just going to squeak a lot and twist it in. So you see that gave it a little bit of extra, of extra fullness, of extra depth. 
Um, we're going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to start stop talking for a second because I'll probably speed this up or put music over this. <laughs> but basically, we're just doing the same thing. La 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 la. Just you know, kind of keep going till we get it all. And while we're looking at the shape, that you know, using the same kind of technique, if you want it, you could make spiders. Um, this this technique of of using a 260 to basically get four pieces uh, is very versatile. You can do a lot of things with it. We'll talk about that in other videos. And just one more. Almost done. to the oasis. This one's getting a little bit heavy. So that is one thing that you do have to worry about since we're doing all, all air is just kind of watch how much weight you're putting on the tops. Uh, yeah, I think maybe one more on that head the right there. So now we have, so now we have the base of our oasis, but now it's time to embellish it. You can use balloon flowers if you want. Uh, you can use flowers, you can use paper flowers, you can use real flowers if you want to embellish it. Um, I'm just gonna use some little balloon flowers because that's what we have. So I have some little four petal flowers and some eight petal flowers. Um, if you look, uh, there's videos on how to make the flowers, so we're not gonna, show you that right now because it's not important um, and because there's, you know, you can use any kind of flowers. If you want it to, you could, uh, you know, use, put some little coconuts there. I mean, there's all kinds of, all kinds of ways that you can embellish it out. The timber! <laughs> And there we go, a cute little oasis that's sure to make your luau the hit of the summer. 